First of all, my channel is um, here to give you my Arsenal vs Liverpool preview and after our game kicking off Wednesday night 8 15 at the Emirates Stadium in the Premier League. And yeah, once again, guys, we're back with our preview. I mean, like, before we do start as well, guys, which was, I think most of you can notice this, right? I mean, look at this. What is this on my face right here? I hate it, guys. But anyway, I'm going to try and get this off. If anyone has any tips for me to get this off, then I really would appreciate it because I have no idea how to get this off. Um, but anyway, let's get into football then. And of course, Arsenal are back in action once again. Uh, I literally made my match reaction to the Leicester game yesterday. We won 2-0 in the SS yesterday and we're back again with another preview because, of course, I didn't usually do Leeds two days earlier before the actual match just because I prefer it that way. It gets out of the way, you know. So, yeah. Um, after a really, really good run of games, this is I think this is where we're going to go down now, unfortunately, because, obviously, Liverpool, they're pretty much in the title race so literally in the title race still no matter what you know Man City can easily slip up they, they have done it this season and Liverpool uh, will be winning every single game from now to the end of the season they're going to be one of course winning every single game because it's not over yet don't forget guys the league's not over yet um, obviously Man City are, are, are top right now but if Man City get a point against, against I think they're playing Palace tonight Liverpool beat us Wednesday they're going to go close the gap on them so yeah, it's going to be interesting, but um, so Liverpool are going to be off for it 100%, and it's why I'm more confident going into this game, guys, you know. Ali Emma say to me, yes, Liverpool, I mean, we just go back to what happened early on in the season. We also got battered at Anfield by four goals to nil. Um, oh, to Then in the Lecaba Cup, we got, uh, we, we got actually a nil-nil draw, which I thought we played really well. We was down 10 minutes as well that game, and we ended up coming away with Anfield with, in the first level with a nil-nil draw. Second level, we got absolutely hells, you know, Diego shot off. I think it was Minamino who scored. They, they beat us 2-0. Should have been more to them as well. And that's when they they, they didn't have Mohamed Salah, didn't have Tadio Mane. Uh, they didn't have Luis Diaz. At the end of the day, mate, I, f I believe we are screwed for this game. All right? We ain't going to win this, in my opinion. Um, as much as how well we've been playing as well over the past few weeks, actually, I'm, I'm not confident because of how good Liverpool are. And it's no free hit either. People, our fans call this a free hit because we're playing against Liverpool. It's no free hit, right? This team needs to go out there and have the same performance that we did against Manchester City uh, at the Emirates Stadium when we lost 2 1, Rodri last minute goal. And that first half was probably one of the best first halves I've seen in for Arsenal in, in a long time. Saka put us on the work and we had a clear game plan. But that's that's going to be the same for Liverpool. It's not going to be easy, obviously. It wasn't easy against Man City, but, you know. We didn't get bad against Man City. All right, so there's no free hit. There's no, there's, no, there's no free hit for Arsenal Football Club, right? We're the third biggest club in England still to this day, right? So there's, there's there's no free hit anymore. I don't get why people want to call it free hit. You know, if even if we um if we draw, well, personally, I'll, I'll take a point any day, you know, against Liverpool. You know, yeah, it's at the Emirates and all that, but... A point is a point. If we if we lose and you know Man United win and West Ham win, we're gonna go back to the sixth, aren't we? So yeah, obviously I'm not confident. As I said, they've got players like Salah, Mane, um, Diego Jota. He can come off the bench. Uh, of course, there was Diaz who scored a level they played last week. Uh, of course, in the middle got Thiago, uh, Fabinho, of course Van Dijk, and all that. It's just like Robertson, Trent. It's gonna be mad, guys. It's gonna be a mad game, I think. Um, I, I've got no optimism whatsoever going into this game, guys. I, I'm trying to be optimistic, but I just can't because, I, obviously, in terms of our record against Liverpool at the Emirates, uh, last season was a 3-0 defeat. Salah scores as well. Um, pretty sure I think Firmino, he, he always scores against us, so don't be surprised if he starts and scores. Um, and a bit of 3-0 at um, last season. The season before that was Arteta's uh, first thing we, we actually beat him 2-1. But they were on the beach that um, that season. That they already won the league. Um, Reece also scored in the game, funny enough. That's only like a zet. So, yeah. Um, and then, obviously, after that was um, Emery won it. And we drew on all when Lacazette scored that uh, last-minute equaliser. So, can we get a result, guys? I'm going to put put it down to the comments. Can we get a result? But for me, I don't think we will. If I find any optimism whatsoever, I'm going to go with a uh, one-all draw. But that's just me being so optimistic. Real talk, I actually think we're going to lose 3-1, if I'm being honest, guys. And I hate to say it because we've been playing so well. But I don't see us beating Liverpool. You know, I don't see us beating Liverpool yet. You know, so 
you, you never know anything can happen. We can have a really good match in performance, they can not turn up and we can get a win. We can win one nil or whatever, but I do think we're gonna probably lose, which is sad to see. Um so uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with a three one Liverpool win for them. And if not me being really optimistic, I want to go with one all draw. <laughs> so anyway, let's get right into the lineup then. Uh, well, actually, you know what I might do? I might do a combined eleven because, based on this season, based on this season, uh, we're going to have to do a combined eleven because let's be real. Antonio's going to go with the exact same lineup that he did against Leicester that he's been doing for weeks. So the goalkeeper, this is interesting. Based on this season, round sounds been phenomenal. I'm going to have to give it to um, Allison though. I think he's been also quality, you know. He's um, a lot better than uh, Edison, in my opinion, for Liverpool, so uh, for Man City, should I say. So, yeah, Alisson will ban goal. It's actually really tight it, when, I, when people think it is. You know, I think Alisson is just edging it for now. Uh, right back, uh, well, we'll have to go with Trent, of course. Um, because that's BM, don't he? Because he's just too, too, he's amazing. Um, I'm going to put Van Dyke in there, obviously, for Liverpool, because again, quality, quality player. Um, we're going to go with Gabriel for Arsenal. All uh, right, listen, <clears throat> Joe Matip is a baller as well. The way how he carries the ball out, I, I actually love to watch Matip for Liverpool, right? The way how he carries, um, carries the ball out and all that. But I just think Gabriel, I, I want Gabriel and Van Dijk there because, look, oh, come on, Liverpool fans, yeah, you can't have all the players, man. You've got to give us some, <laughs> literally. So, yeah, we're going to go Gabriel. I'm going to go with Andy Robertson as well, of course, because both both um, Tierney and, I mean, they're both fast, let's be real. Kieran Tierney is amazing. Um, uh, but so is Andy Robertson. We're going to go with... We go with these Champions League card because why not, mate? Uh, the midfield then number ten. This is interesting, right? Number ten. You know what? Odegaard has just been phenomenal. You've, you've, you you can't not include him. He's been so good. He's been really really good, Odegaard. So he isn't going there. Um, we're gonna go with uh, Fabinho, I guess. I, I guess he'll go in there. I mean, you can go with Hem uh, Henderson. Um, but I guess we're going to have to go with Fabinho. Party's been really good. I mean, that is a shout to put Party in there. Um, but I'm going to go with... You know what? I'm actually going to... Party's been so good since he's come back from Afghan. We're basically it on form right now, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to do it. We'll have to put Party in there, man. I think that's... I think based on this, based on this, this current form, and Odegaard's been fantastic... Um, I think all of these have been really good. And then obviously we're going to go with the right-hand side, which is, for me, has to be Salah. Um, obviously, he's just clear of everyone. Um, we'll go with his, well, in, in his, in his uh, yellow kit. Actually, you know what? We're going to go for his one, because they went white, I'm pretty sure, against us. Or they might wear yellow. I'm, I'm not sure. So we're going to go with Salah in his white, because I put the other little players in white. You can see that. Guys, apart from Fabinho, I'm up some of they ain't got white kids. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the striker has to be Diego Jota for me. Up front. Um, left wing. I'll go, I'll go with Sack. Oh, Mane or Saka. I'm putting Saka on the left for me. He's been that good. He's been that good. Based on this current form, guys, by the way. So yeah, we're gonna go Saka on the left wing, and I'm I'm liking that team, guys. I know what you think about it. You know, Alisson in goal, based on current form, would you put Ramsdale in there? Alisson Arnold over Cedric, Van Dijk over Ben White, Gabriel of course is in there over uh, Matip, Robertson is over Tierney, Odegaard is over Thiago, uh, Fabinho's of course over Granit Xhaka, Party is over um, Henderson, uh, Salah's over. Well, it was over Saka, but it's uh, Saka put him on the left, so we'll get Martinelli. Of course, got us clear of Lacazette and Saka for me. Right, this is better than Marnie. <laughs> he, all right, so he's not better than Marnie, but 
I'm basing this on this current form for a combined 11. You got come on, Liverpool fans, give us some players, man. All right, give us some players. We will have Saka. We 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 look four four players that get into this, get into the list of all sides. Um, four really good players as well. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to smash that much guys. I knew. I said I think it's gonna be one draw optimistically, but yeah. Let me know you get this off as well, guys. It's so annoying. I'll see you on the next one.